Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Friday, November 22nd, 2019. Hey, everybody loves a Friday, and right now the futures are trying to love on the Friday, giving us a little bit of a pop up this morning. Let's take a look at what the charts have to show us and what we've got going here in the technicals. If we take a look at the Dow, we Although we've had three days of selling and pullback, I got to tell you, there's nothing about this chart that says bearishness yet. As a matter of fact, there really is no technical damage that has been created in this chart. So we're still looking really, really good overall in the market. And this little pullback really hasn't hurt anything. What I'd love to see is a, I'd love to see a little bit of a consolidation in here. Maybe we pop up a bit this morning and you can see futures are looking for a little pop up here this morning trying to get a lift but not a whole lot we're we're um, staying pretty modest and probably the reason is is there's news reports that uh, we're likely going to move forward into December without a trade deal which means that December 15th tariff increase may still be on the table who knows what that really means and what that is how that's going to affect the market but right now we're trying to ignore that and we're trying to uh just move on with this bullishness and a good strong end this week could be um just what the doctor ordered here and kind of recover a little bit of that selling for the last three days if we look at our moving averages you can see we're still significantly significantly far away from our 50-day moving average and if we could get a little bit of consolidation a little bit of rest of here up here allowing those um, averages to move up i really think that would be productive can't say that we're going to get that we've kind of been an all or nothing market either we're just all in buying like crazy or we're selling in, in sheer panic. But if we could finally calm down, and honestly, this entire year has kind of been that way. You know, if I were to pull this back to 2017, this is what we need to see. If you can see here, we need to see that moving average, that 50-day moving average kind of move up, provide some support, and give us some stability in the chart instead of all this back and forth. Unfortunately, with all the uncertainty out there in the political arena, that may be, might be a big ask. We'll have to wait and see. But if we could just get a little bit of rest, a little bit of calming in the market, I think it would be very, very productive overall. And I'm not trying to pitch for, you know, any kind of major consolidation or anything like that. Just a little bit of calming that could settle things down and actually help um, traders an awful lot find some good entries into trades. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, very much the same situation as you can see the SPY, just a little lazy, relaxed pullback, nothing in here damaged um, the index whatsoever. And if you take a look, we're looking at a small gap up this morning, just a little bit of bullishness here in the morning trying to push us back higher so let's keep an eye on that um, if we can hold up in here I think probably one of the better things that we could do is just stave off um, any additional selling and just kind of camp out up here but we'll see um, it's it's certainly possible that the bulls will find some inspiration I'm not exactly sure where they will find that inspiration we have kind of a light economic calendar day and we have a light earnings day so it may be a little bit challenging for them to find a whole lot of inspiration but we'll wait and see um, and as we head into the weekend and re keep in mind that next week is the holiday week thanksgiving week we could start to see volumes begin to drop off um, um, as folks start making those holiday plans and preparing for um, a few days off from the market so just kind of keep that in mind we could just see things calm down here a little bit not trying to predict that just uh, well maybe some wishful thinking that we calm down a little bit let's take a look at the cues Q's um, also no technical damage in this chart. Nice little pullback. Our trends maintained here. Get a little rest and support right in here. A little consolidating move. We're looking at a gap up open this morning. We're looking for the uh, 
cues to try and move a little bit higher this morning, but not a big, not a big move, and probably not a ton of inspiration to really move us a lot this morning. We'll see if those bulls can really dig in and get things going, though. I think the encouraging thing is after three days of selling, we really have shown some restraint. Um, uh, on the bear side and just not um, really technically damage the chart. So I think that's a good sign. And a little rest in here would be nice to see. IWM, IWM, little bit of a uh, problem here in IWM, but it looks like we're going to resolve that this morning. As you can see, IWM, we have kind of this really critical support level right in here. And at the end of yesterday, we were just sneaking below that just a tiny little bit. Now this morning we're popping up just slightly here. So hopefully the bulls will pick that back up. Now I don't know that this would be tremendously damaging for the index, but if, if we were to slip um, below this level, um, it may make it difficult for the other indexes to move up much if this is kind of dragging us lower as a boat anchor. And it's really kind of served as a boat anchor the entire year, um, actually. Um, we may, if we break down below that, we may slip down here toward uh, a test of this longer term trend that we broke finally to the upside we may test in there down around that 50-day moving average so keep an eye on that IWM hasn't been a major factor this year and um, they may continue to be such um, as we move forward here let's take a look to uh, at um, the VIX one of the things that's been really nice to see is that the VIX has um, avoided a major fear spike and even though we're down here in what I would call a little bit of a complacency zone on on the chart we really haven't spiked up in fear on this little sell-off and we do that a lot when we reach down in here and we start seeing those big fear spikes come into place so far that has not been the case even though we elevated just a little tiny bit really little to no fear in the market i wrote about that this morning in today's blog and if you guys um, don't know this um, in the description of the video you can actually see it without opening up the description of the video right underneath the title there'll be a link to the morning blog if you want to go there so really little to no fear here in the market no one is really um, running um, running for cover just yet so I think we're in pretty good shape as we head into this weekend even though there's this palpable uncertainty over the trade deal and um, kind of concerns and worries what may be going on at Hong Kong and you know the impeachment hearings but I don't think that's really affecting us all that much you can see it in the fear really not affecting us all that much at least yet as we move closer and closer to that December 15th tariff increase that might be a different story but we'll wait and see on that let's take a look at t2122 t2122 is the four week new high new low ratio and you can see t2122 slipped a little bit lower yesterday giving us plenty of upside room here in the market now t2122 is really only greatly affected effective when we have reached down here and oversold or we're up here in overbought conditions so it's not giving us a direction for the market but what it is telling us is that we have plenty of room to uh, to move upside so we're down in this area we've got all of this room to move to the upside and if we find some more selling if we get some pullback or something we still have plenty of room to the downside as well so just keep that in mind um, no no big directional change here uh, showing up in t2122 one thing i will have to say though is this little little tiny pullback and this possibility of a consolidation up here at this level seeing this t2122 uh, pulling back like this i think is very productive the overall chart itself is not really showing technical damage um you know on the indexes and yet t2122 is opening this big open door for an upside move that's an awesome sign and i think if we can just continue this resting period we may have some good opportunities in the market assuming the political process doesn't mess things up and well as we know um, that 
<laughs> that has been a challenge this entire year and uh, may continue to, to be so. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today because our economic calendar will have something to say about the market today we don't have a tremendous amount that's going to move us around we have the pmi composite flash unlikely to move the market um, but we do have consumer sentiment that's going to be an important number but the good news is 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 the consensus right now is that that sentiment number will actually increase just slightly so the consumers remaining very very strong in this market and once again no fear from them of um, any kind of pending doom um, in in the overall market or in the economy so holding up quite well we do have the Kansas, Kansas City Fed and uh, Baker Hughes rig count but obviously not showing any signs uh, that those are going to be um, impactors for the market today so kind of a quiet Friday um, of events uh, not too many earnings reports but there are a few earnings reports to make note of you know one being Foot Locker Foot Locker reporting earnings today it looks like they're gapping just slightly higher on that report they found a little bit of love uh, BKE BKE the buckle also fi finding some love here this morning gapping up um, and SJM oops SJM SJM Smuckers well it looks like jelly not doing so good today um, gapping and down on its earnings report so we have a little bit of a mix here this morning um, nothing in here too major probably the biggest earnings report that um, tech tech wise would have been INTU that reported last night and you can see um, that it really hasn't moved much um, so we got a little push down here yesterday but you can see the bid ass spread is right here about where it, where it uh, closed so really no impact there from that whatsoever just kind of a flat line um, on their earnings report so with that everyone I want to wish you all a great day in trading and I want to wish you all great success and if this is the first time you have seen these videos, could you do me a favor? Click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that follow me button on Facebook if you happen to watch the video there. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave comments. Um, you know, I, I do my best to put out good quality comment. Uh, content without all of the hype and prediction that you might find in other places and really the purpose of these videos is to help you focus in on the technicals of the chart and follow that price action I personally believe that price is king and I believe over a period of time I can prove to you that price is king that if we learn to follow price action we actually have an edge in this market so if you find these videos helpful if you could please click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment I would truly truly appreciate it you guys are awesome that do that thank you so much I appreciate you more than you can possibly know so with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, stocks that we may want to pay attention to for potential trades. Keep in mind that these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It's just part of the education that I do and provide um, out there. But if you um, do happen to find something here, you know, put that put that chart on a list, make your evaluation and decide whether that trade is for you. So let's take a look at a couple that are of interest. Take a look at Intel. Intel. We go to this drawing page as you can see I've placed an alert here on Intel now Intel has to deal with this resistance high here still in the chart but if we break out above that I want you to notice we have blue sky above here in Intel so pretty nice potential setup we're holding nicely in a trend and although that trend may require a little bit more consolidation in here in here it is certainly possible that we could change that trend tra trajectory here and move on through very very soon 
Now, whether we'll find enough inspiration today to move us up through there, I can't tell you. But I want to pay attention to this. Now, it really doesn't matter um, if you were to take a trade in here. For me, I might take this trade when it breaks through this area. Not sure that I will. Or I might wait for it to break on through, hold that area as support, and then get into that position. So watch Intel um, as it tries to break out to these all-time new highs um, pretty decent setup coming here in intel same kind of pattern is you might want to take a look at general electric general electric has moved up nicely now obviously general electric has had uh, oh man they have really been beat down lots of changes and things going on with that company lots of um, issues and worries but general electric on its earnings report rallied up nicely here and you can see breaking through a major level of resistance and holding that as support and since we've moved up here there really hasn't been um, anyone wanting to sell it's holding up quite well and as you can see trying to pop on higher here now clearly there is some congestion in the chart over here that still will serve as resistance so we'll have to wait and see if it can push on through but kind of like what's setting up here in GE there may be an opportunity here if you're looking for one of those charts that kind of a kind of a beleaguered uh, stock that's trying to come back might want to watch that closely another stock that i'm keeping a close eye on is oracle now oracle has been banging around its head right and banging its head against this price resistance you can see moving up in a nice trend and we're dealing with some of this price resistance right through here in this chart if we can continue this move um, consolidating or whatever pop through maybe and then move on up i would be interested in watching oracle trying to hang in there really nicely and looking pretty decent keep a close eye on it um, looking pretty decent take a look at Microsoft now Microsoft moved up extremely strongly I mean really really strongly and uh, now has had that resting little resting pullback here in the chart I don't know that it's ready to just jump right back into a trade even though we are looking at a bit of a gap up open this morning trying to push up just slightly watch this in here if this were to rest or consolidate just a little bit more put in a little more of a resting pattern then there may be an opportunity here in Microsoft keep an eye on it um, certainly very very strong and one of those uh, market leaders right now to be made aware of take a look at MLNX MLNX I have been watching pretty closely there's no rush on this trade whatsoever because you can see our trend being out here this could consolidate and just continue to move sideways in here over to that trend but I want to keep an eye on it just in case this happens to change that trajectory of its trend and pop on through now yesterday it popped up here and pulled all the way back popped up again um, it's trying to decide whether or not it has the inspiration to move higher so let's watch this in here if MLNX actually pops through this significant level of resistance because if it does there's some upside potential here that uh, may be kind of productive for uh, folks so keep an eye on that chart how about FireEye FireEye had a little pullback yesterday, bearish engulfing candle as a matter of fact. But what's interesting in this chart is it continues to hang in its trend. So we're still moving sideways here in this trend and I'm watching this closely. Now, to be fair, um, I actually already own FireEye in here and I'm watching this pretty close. If this pops on through i'll be in good shape uh, of course if this were to fail on this support area in here i have to cut it loose but right now still pretty comfortable with this chart one to keep an eye on and um, hopefully that can begin to move on through to the upside we'll have to wait and see on uh, netflix my goodness netflix has had a really good move here um, popped on through our, our alert here on the chart and just really hasn't looked back netflix moving up strongly um, any rest or pullback in here now that holds above the support levels 
would be another opportunity to trade. I wouldn't chase it this many days up, but um, any rest or pullback may be an opportunity to take a look at that chart. Uh, Facebook is another that's been holding up quite well, moving up nicely in its trend as you can see here. And any rest or pullback that continues to hold in this um, area of support, let's watch this in here. If that rests in here, uh, that opportunity that this could move right on up and test these old highs here um, in the market. So keep an eye on Facebook. It's also showing signs of strength. So with that, everyone, there's a few charts for your list, a few things I might want to keep an eye on. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And more importantly, I want to wish you all a great weekend. Remember, we have the holiday coming up and uh, next week could be kind of interesting. So what you want to do is just plan your risk accordingly. Um, we could start to see volumes begin to decline as traders start heading out for their holiday plans. And so if you are one of those folks that's going to be taking off and heading out for holiday plans, I want to wish you all the best. You know, there's nothing more important than family. Get out there and have a great time. Um, I wish you all a fantastic weekend, a fantastic holiday if you're taking off, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Monday morning if you're going to be sticking around. Have a good one. We'll talk to you all soon.